What's up YouTubers? Today I'm at uh, Tong Street and I don't know if you remember uh, last year around about end of June it was one of our first videos actually we did a, an abandoned grave on Tong Street and this is the area here but so much of a response because the locals were shocked to see what state this place was in totally forgotten and at the time it was in June and it was basically overgrown and we couldn't see any tombstones or, or we couldn't really read what was on them and we got so many comments and uh, people just wanted an update and get involved so we thought we'll come now a lot of the uh, shrubbery and the greenery has disappeared and it might be easier for us to read uh, the headstones and see if you can find any names and I've got Imtiaz, Imtiaz we're prepared this time yeah we have, gloves yeah, still a bit implement and some cutting yeah here in the uh, I'm just saying we got quite a lot of comments quite a popular video by the way the video is called fell in a grave no, no pun intended, but it was that bad and Imtiaz actually yeah. did slip and fell in the hole more or less, you know? Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, there was a lesson learned there. But, um, yeah, so we found out more information about this place anyway. It's, it was supposed to be the, um, it was supposed to be the, uh, the graveyard for the home, home lane chapel. So the chapel would have been somewhere around here. We don't know where, it might be here, or where the building is, just beyond the graveyard. Right. Uh, uh, where the air raid shelters used to be. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so um, apparently the uh, the, uh, the original uh, chapel was condemned in the 1950s, uh, so it was knocked down, and uh, another one was built just off Broadstone Way uh, in Homewood, which is not very far from here. So this is what, re this is what remains of that chapel uh, at the graveyard. So right. we're about to go back in again. Yeah. And hopefully this time we'll be able to see yeah. some of the gravestones because it just seems a lot better to be able to see where we're going yeah. this time. Because I was just saying earlier, last time we went was in June and you know it was obviously there was the greenery everywhere yeah, it was terrible, yeah. but we're just coming out of winter or we're in winter and you know it's easy accessible so let's have a look see what we can find yep The last time we made a visit here, there was actually a homeless person that was living here. Uh, but obviously he's moved on. And this is probably the exact entrance we used last time, I think. It is, it is, and it seems strange. You can actually see more. In fact, a lot more things you can see. And this is the first grave we came to. Yeah, yeah. So let's look at this one this time. So if you want to make a comparison, do check our previous video out and it's called Fell in a Grave and we're back at the same spot. You can actually see the headstone, it's quite, it's, it's fascinating isn't it this time, this time around. And we'll, we'll read some names out because it might be, uh, yeah, some of, of our viewers may even uh, know the connection. Yeah, in, in loving memory of Thomas Rose of Rycroft Tong died August 14th, 1902, age 73. And also Sarah Elizabeth, his wife, died June 14, age 86, of right. Emma Rhodes. Daughter of the above, who died in 1960. So this is probably towards the tail end, possibly, of the of the use of the graveyard. Uh, there may be new ones in that, but... Yeah, uh, see these, we've, we've, we've not seen these before. Well, I haven't, not. anyway. Yeah, and even things like this, we don't... Yeah. Yeah. I mean we can, we can try to pull some stuff away. That is just covered. I don't think you can do much with that to be honest. Let's try. Unless you want to try, yeah? Okay. Alright, oh, it's quite easy to take off, isn't it? Yeah. It's not as stubborn as I thought. I know. 
see if we've got a we've got a brush there or something. I'm glad you got your gloves on this time. Oh yes. You're all right. Oh, fantastic. It's really well well kept as well, look at it, because of the moss protected it. John Pitts, 1899, and his daughter. Well, we went to this one last time, and it was quite around the 15th. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Ellsworth family. Um, so, to be honest, I'm probably not going to dwell too much upon this one. No, we've, we've been, been here before. But look, Riaz, we didn't know. Look, we, we, I mean, it's a grave here, so this is, we'd have walked across here not even knowing that. Now this time I'm going to be a lot more careful to get rid of Maybe it's self of you, do you remember last time it was more or less up to my chest? Yeah. And you can see all the uh, greenery all dead. Yeah. And you can see that's a pot of grave I fell in, you can actually see it's opened. Open as well. Oh, is that the one? That's the one, yeah. Okay, right, 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 this is the this is the grave. I'm just going to just check how safe it is. I don't want to venture too far this time. You can see this is the, the grave that I fell in. I'll just show it to you. You can see there. There's a there's an opening. And it does look quite deep. I don't know if viewers can see it. But I just lost my footing again there. So you can see it's quite it's quite perilous. Yeah. Well, if you look beyond that, Rio, look down there. You can actually see graves. Yeah, you yeah. Can't see at all. So well, that's interesting. Yeah, let's follow the footpath what we took last last time. Yeah. Last time, yeah. And um, um, as you can see, everything's uh, gone. All the uh, greenery still dangerous. but a bit more exposed this time. Yeah. Oh, I'm struggling with the nettles here. Oh, most of the face is gone, isn't it? That's a shame. Somebody called William James. Edwin. Yeah, it's noticed. just... The face is gone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just... Unfortunately, it's just broken off. There's no way we could have no. got access to that last time. Yeah, we might um, also go to the church that holds the records for this graveyard. So the, uh, the records do exist, the burial records. So we managed to find that. Um, so, um, yeah, we'll have more of an idea yeah. uh, of actually who's buried here. Yeah. There is a service going there or not at the moment, so we'll try and catch the Reverend yeah. after the service. Yeah. Okay, let's carry on. These nettles are a nightmare, aren't they? I remember last time I was just scratched everywhere, you know, legs and stuff. <laughs> Yeah.
I don't know if you can see that, there's another grave there. No? Yeah. I mean, there are still stubborn branches about it. Yeah. 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 There's another one there. Can you see anything on it? None whatsoever. You can just see the side, you know, like the side stone, the edging stones. Is there anything literally? Oh, there is, isn't there? See if we can so, clear that. That just seems. No, there's nothing on no, that nothing side. No, nothing on it. Yeah. So you can see what we're up against here. We we're basically walking over graves, which we don't like. But you just don't know, do you? And you can see there are not many headstones. I'm really surprised, to be honest. Elijah Ravel. Sorry, repeat that again. Elijah. Elijah Ravel, who died January 25th, 1883. Right, okay. So this is the one that we couldn't see at all, now we can see that. Right. Yeah, if you can get it close. Uh, sorry, just, let me just uh, see if you can get a close up. Yep. It will be very difficult to see, but we'll try to show you. Right. So, in Piaz, that looks like a bit of a dead end there. I wouldn't even attempt going there, but because we won't be able to see anything. The other area, there's some around here, but I think I'm, uh, there's boards around here, so we should be able to get here fairly. Yeah. See, there's another one here. There's some writing on this, see if you can clean that, please. George Stevenson. George Stevenson. Another memory of Emma, the beloved wife of George Stevenson. So this area here, we couldn't get to last time. Well. 1883, John George. That's, uh, they're all children, aren't they? Aged two years. Also, Sarah, Lizzie, children of the above, above who died in their infancy. Also, Jenny and Lizzie, twin sisters. Gosh, there's like several uh, children in this grave. Hopefully, you can get some detail on video. A bit easy to read. Henry Ellis, 
died 18th of August 1888, 59th year. Get something on this side. In loving memory of Mary Ann, the beloved wife of Henry Ellis, who died September 2nd, 1882, in her 62nd year. Yeah. The stones there. Uh, the stone. Yeah. The curb stone. So they're obviously here as well. Yeah. I'm hoping some of the records, which we'll hopefully try to retrieve, will give us some idea. Mm. Who's buried here? You know. How's it going through there? What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's just in the dark and there's not much being captured here. Well, let me see, I'm yeah. So we'll try to get out of this dark patch and into the light. Yep. It's not really nice under there. get through I'm just absolutely get tangled yeah I can just see it through that little gap yeah. there Into the light, hopefully. Into the light, and obviously again. All that area there, which is quite a considerable area, will obviously have graves. Mm. James and Martha Huller, H U double L. Uh, James and Martha Huller, right H U double L A H. Um, yeah, is it, the writing's too small there. Yeah. Yeah. James Huller died March something or other. 18, looks like 1858 or 1868. Right. So, read of this. Ma in loving memory of Margaret. Mundy Webster, the dearly departed wife of Arthur Webster, born June 25th, 1883, died January 13th, 1904. Yeah. 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 Um, I have to admit this is one of the difficult grave yards we to to film. I'm all, I'm all over the place. Look how how well the the moth has kept this. Yeah, gone. yeah. Nice. Like it was made yesterday, look.
Arthur Walker. It's really bad for the You can tell. Yeah. But it says here. Yeah, let's grab some names. So it's Alice Ann Rhodes, Neil Walker, Neil Walker, sorry, who departed this life June the 23rd, 1908. Age 56, author Arthur Walker, husband and the above, who departed this life November 11th, 1914. Yeah. He was quite a bit older than I, wasn't he? Yeah. Because there's only like six years between there. Yeah. No, there, thanks, uh, thanks for cleaning that up, that's uh, a job well done there. I mean, that would have never been exposed. I know. You can see it's a tap. I'm doing it, hardly making a difference. I'll try to stretch across, and this will give you an idea of uh, the area of land which is so difficult to get to because uh, no doubt there'll be loads of graves. right there and there's another headstone totally buried away Is that, that's with that? yeah have a look at that now. see if you can capture it so it's uh it's very very different to the other headstones in loving in, in loving memory of margaret wife of james thackeray of tysel who died may 27th 1891 age 49 also, the above, James Thackeray, who died June the 5th, 1908, age 63. Not so sure whether you'll be able to see this, but I will try, okay? My best to give you an idea what's on here. So there are quite a few graves across there which we'll try to get get towards. Pearl Bradford. I wonder what that is. As you can see, edging stones all over. And Let's see what Intiaz is doing, how are we doing? Yeah, just, just making a way through a little bit of the sand. Just putting away, so... That looks like a sunken grave it there. Does, it does, it does, doesn't it? I'll be standing on that. And it's quite... Dear me. I know. In fact... I'm going to try to use torch and see. See a brick wall in there. Oh, there as well, can you see? Yeah. Go brick. Yeah. Apologies for that. I had to turn the camera upside down to actually get some footage, but hopefully that probably caught it. So if you notice a little pallet here, there could be a reason why it's here, just to protect anybody who's trying to go across, I suppose. So if you look across, there's about a dozen graves which are nearly in the original form. So I'm guessing, in the hours, this was probably the layout all the way across. Yeah. It's just these are a bit intact, aren't they? Yeah, they are probably inaccessible on the cover. Yeah. Well, 
I mean, look at the graves up and down here. Yeah. They're all the way around here. You can see one just the top of a headstone over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they're all over here. So let's just see. Let's see if we can get some names. Because these are probably the last few we can actually access. Have you seen the holes on these? Yeah, they've been punched on this. I don't understand that. I wonder which where they started, where they... Yeah, I'm oh, thinking that's uh, where they started the actual uh, inscription. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Look at, look at the O here. So it's yeah, been yeah. punched there, there and there. That's the first time I've seen that. It's not very difficult to read though, even with that. Yeah. In fact, what I've noticed, there are a couple of the letters, as you can see there. So in the house, it looks like there was actually letterings. Can you see it? There's an E there. Yeah. And that's where they've been punched in these names. Yeah, do you want me to? Yeah. Let's put some water on it, see if we can get anywhere with this. We can see it better. As you can see, I can just make out a, a cross on top of a grave. Are you alright in the house? Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. It looks like we lost a couple of tools. It just shows you how bad it is. <laughs> lost some clippers on the way. <laughs> yeah, so we're at the uh, United Reformed Church in uh, in Homewood. It's um, it's on Madison Avenue, uh, and we thank the church for allowing us to look at the uh, at the burial record, which are here. As you can see, it's a very old book, so they've taken out especially for us. Uh, and it's the first time it's been looked at for uh, for a number of years. So, with the pastor's uh, permission, I'm going to open this book very carefully because it is very delicate. It does worry me. And you can see it's a beautiful book. And we'll very careful here and we'll go to page one so so the burial the first burial here looks to be in 1854 Maria Gomasol um, age 58 aboard Tong Street section one sorry section two number one grave number one so this gives you an idea of the type of information that's contained within it's, it clearly says here home lane end cemetery register of burials okay so i'm going to go right to the back oh well i'll yeah, take go a, right to the back uh, just give i'll go a... to the middle okay and then and then i'll go to the back and you can see again the numbers are increasing it is went up to 602 the date of death there is 1875 um, and it's fascinating, I mean, it tells you information, so it's rank or profession, infant, uh, coal miner, labourer, coal miner. It's probably, the, you know, in the, the order of the day. Mill hand here, you can see. Uh, we'll try to get to the back of the, of the burial register. And here we are, this is the, towards the back. now. This tells us that there are 1,960 burials. This is not the year, okay? This, this tells you the amount of burials here, so that's number 1,960. Now, we went through the book uh, uh, with a pastor, and this seems to be the figure uh, uh, of the amount of uh, burials at the, um, at the cemetery. Now, the last burial here was 1974, 23rd of December, Wilfred, I, I can't read that, it's quite difficult to read. But, um, rank of profession, Shirley Manor. I mean, Shirley Manor used to be down um, a Cleckheaton uh, Road in White. I think it's been knocked down now. Um, and, um, yeah, he was the last, uh, 
that's the person to be buried. And um, I shall now close the book very carefully. And it is an old book as we can see. And once again, we thank Pastor John of the, of the United Reformed Church for allowing us to see um, the register of burials.